Bonnie. 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 One more night together again. This would be a bad idea. Come on, think about it. Justin, I have passed my message to you. Leave my friend alone. Because I will do everything it takes to frustrate your relationship with her. Bet me. Tell me, madam. What about your husband? Has he taken his own fertility test? No, doctor. He thinks he's all right. All right. Listen, madam. In medicine, you don't assume. Now, you need to bring him down here for his own test, too. You promised that you were going to accept Rita the same way you accepted me. But I've accepted her. Oh, please. To whom has the contract been awarded? Chief Martin Stevens. I have just been awarded a 300 million naira contract! Surprise. Good day, sir. Oh, Joko Tadi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Mr. Namdio Kapo, are you not going to say hello? <coughs> good, good day, madam. Good day to you, too. Um, Daddy, we actually came here to have a drink and, of course, scale with you. Oh, that's fine. Ah, uh, you can uh, order for anything and uh, charge to my account. <laughs> oh, thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you very time, much, sir. Namde, I, I noticed you, you were very nervous before that lady, uh, Joko. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that you are not happy in Badman's group. Well, the offer is still open. So make a good business decision and strike a wise bargain. Um, until this time, the results will be out, and I will now know what next action to take. Okay? Excuse me. Hello? Rita, it's you, Gloria. Hey, Mika. Uh -huh. Oh, you have a directing job for me, eh? Directing jobs? Are you out of your mind? Uh, why don't we meet in the office tomorrow so we can talk about this? Oh, 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 you are with your wife, eh? Dude, talk me will be perfect. Okay, so see you then. I, I, I'm sick. I'm sorry, Doctor. Okay. Uh, I'm a producer, director in the movie industry. Ah, that's nice. Really? 
Uh, maybe somebody will cut me a program. Huh? Welcome to the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, but I was saying, um, in two days' time, we'll have the results, and then, you know, take it up from there, okay? Please, doctor, do whatever you can. I just want my wife to be happy. No problem. We'll do everything we can to assist, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Kushi, thank you very much for coming. Welcome. Madam, thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, then. Hey, you stupid bunny, it is like. Wife, as in the ideal kind of wife, is wife. Oh, God, Gloria, what? you can't shift to and then So you need a very single, switched up wife in, in town. You're choosing to, to date a married man. So we are just helping each other, nothing more. Helping each other? Yes, helping each other. It's actually helping me to get to where I want to be in the movie industry, and I well. I show appreciation in kind. You show appreciation in kind? Yes. Just, just listen to yourself, Gloria. Mm -hmm. You show appreciation in kind? Uh-huh. Now, between both of us, who has gone crazy here? Who, as in, who has gone wacko? Huh? Just a few days ago, you were accusing me of, of accepting to date a guy I just met, and here you are, selling your body to a married man just because you want to become a movie star. <laughs> Come on. Your friend. My relationship is well defined. Mm -hmm. So I get something in return. And not that joke you do with um, Justin. See, I accept my mistakes, okay? And I'm making amends. Oh, good for you. But, Gloria, let me ask you one question. And be frank with me, please. If you're married and someone else is sharing your husband with you, tell me, how would you feel? Don't worry. When I get there, my bridge. Hmm? I, beat you, beat you. Cool. I can't believe you. So what do you think my sister's husband is discussing with your father? How am I supposed to know? We came here together, didn't we? Yeah. You're right. bother you that much? Of course not. Just that um, it's a bit strange. Hmm. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. You know that is not why we're here. Yeah, yeah. Spill the beans. I'm all ears. <sighs> okay. It tells you about your brother, Ray. Really. Things have not been moving smoothly with us. Okay, so... What has that got to do with me? Oh, sorry. Go on. Listen, Joko. The last thing I need right now from you is to be indifferent, okay? All right, madam. What do you mean? A friend. Can you be one? Go on, I'm listening. Ray's job has been getting in the way for a while now. And I feel I'm the least important thing in his life. Does he give you that impression? So often. So, are you contemplating breaking up with him? What? I don't say something wrong. Choco. What? I mean, you know how I feel about dating all these young men who have nothing to us. Oh, God. This was a mistake. A big one at that. Christ. I should have known better than to discuss matters like this with you. Do you know what? Let's just have our meal and go back to your office, okay? Back to what I was saying, uh, Kate's father was a colonel in the army. It was through the man's office that uh, Batman got the contract that changed his life. This is unbelievable. And you know, see, Badmus was vehemently against my marrying his daughter. He told everyone who kept to listen that I was from a poor background. Oh, I'm not surprised at all. The man has always been like that. So self-centered. So he was born like me. Oh, worse than you. His family was so wretched. Tell me, sir. At what point did things start degenerating between the two of you? At the point that he made his first set of millions. Then I had just been duped. So I had no money and had to go into partnership with him. 
so you can see that uh, we've come a long way. That's why you find that our kids are so close. Mm -hmm. So you, you worked with him? Oh, that was the worst mistake of my life. The man humiliated me beyond imagination. The man I took him when he was almost fed up with life. Hmm. I can understand. So you expected some sort of kindness in return, right? Precisely. But rather, the man kept torturing me. Then one day, I saw an opportunity. <laughs> I personally bidded for a multi-million naira contract using Bad Mercer's company name. I eventually got the contract, executed it, and made some millions with which I set up my own firm. Bad Mercer got to know about it and got me arrested. That was the genesis. I'll answer your question. That's the kind of man you have for your father. Hmm. So, how do you intend to spend your day? Any options? No. I'll spend the day with you. So, do you want to talk to me about that? <laughs> about what? Oh, come on, Anita. Uh, she didn't really mean it. What are you going to do? No, 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 no. It's tough now. Hey, I don't mind you. Do you want to call from Abuja today? Mm -hmm. Oh. She asked after you. Me? Mm-hmm. When is she coming back? In two days' time. I gave her your number. Oh, that's okay with you. No, it's not. Look, I decide who gets my number, not you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's my best friend. Well, you call me best friend. I'm so. Sure. I'm so. What's the reason? I don't have time for all this. Please, I, I have to I have yeah. get to attend. Excuse me. You beautiful, tall. Okay. What did I tell you about that, sister? Why? She has one in her bag and that one is used for killing. So what were you doing? But mommy. No, but. Okay? Mommy loves you and doesn't want you to get hurt. Okay? Fine. Now go inside, change your dress and get set for lunch, okay? All right, my brother. Get inside. You're not going to get something. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's right, my own. Thank you. Oh, yes. What a hectic. My dear. Let me get you something. No, 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 okay. Uh, uh, don't forget. Okay. Yeah, I saw Rita the other day at the shopping mall. She's really turning into a beautiful young lady. Hmm. Just the same way her problems too are going. Oh, come on, Susan. Seriously. Stop even living with a stepchild. My dear, everything you do is misinterpreted. But I've always seen Rita like a level-headed girl. <laughs> what? You don't have a clue. Well, still, Steve supports her. I don't believe you. In fact, just pray you don't have a stepchild. That's the only way you enjoy your marriage. Honestly. Yeah. Let me give you something to drink one day. No, oh, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If I, if I don't do it that way, it will work. <laughs> this thing is not easy. This thing, man. Hey, come on. Okay, oh. okay. What, what, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> huh? Um, <laughs> man. Come on. 
Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that Lola blackmailed you? Come on, man. That girl is desperate. Don't you get it? <laughs> and you gave her the money. Only 20,000, man. It's wrong, you? <laughs> well, guys, are you still planning on keeping this stupid relationship? <laughs> what did you call it? Huh? A stupid relationship? Let me tell you something. That stupid relationship is a very convenient one for me. Alright? See, Lola is not like the other girls that want to possess me all alone. Right? See, she likes the freestyle thing. You know, go do your thing, then you get back to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Very cool. The next thing now, you're going to tell me she's the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> Maybe you're not getting my point. Lola is ready to do anything for me. And when I mean anything, I mean anything. Okay. How about it? Is she still avoiding it? Nah, stupid girl. She called me some hours ago and was talking real nonsense. I knew it. See, I told you I'm not going to find it easy with that girl. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> Why are you sounding like you don't know me? Come on, man, it's me, JB. So let me tell you something. I got the looks. Uh-huh. I got the smartness. Uh-huh. I got the money. Just call guys like us the best for sheep. Okay. Right? Look at the thing that turned me down. None of them. I am the master in this game. JB Master. Say that again. JB Master. Say it again. JB Master. One minute. JB. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Just come back more. Just come back more. Martin Hibusa. Martin Hibusa? Chairman of Act and Still, yeah, sure. Of course, I know. He wants me to work for him. What did you say? And he's prepared to pay double. You can't be serious. I wish I were him. I wish I were him. What do you think I should do, Steve? Oh, well, uh, <coughs> the dogs are bigger, man. Right? It's, uh, it's tough. It's, um, complicated. Yeah. That's why I need your advice. First time I went to see me in the office. No. Right back.
trust God. Having problems with your numerous girlfriends? What do you want from me, Charles? Huh? What? Do you attend classes just in badness? Is something wrong with you? Huh? Are you crazy or something? Hey, 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 hold it. How is that your problem? Huh? Listen to me, Charles. I don't have time. I, I'm not in the mood for your nonsense. Do you get that? Okay. I am not in the mood. Oh, come on. Justin, don't even take it that way. Come on. All right. All right. What do you want from me? Maybe I'm trying to know whose heart you're about to break this time. Oh, really? You know what I think? I think you should go straight to hell. Yes, go to hell, Charles. I've never broken your sister's heart before. Don't involve my sister to this. Now I get it. I get it, man. You are jealous, all right? You are jealous. I'm the ladies' man. You are jealous. All the ladies in campus are crazy about me. You are jealous. I'm hot. You are jealous. I got the swagger. You are jealous. I got money. Is that your problem? No lady can stay with you. Is that what you think? Hi, baby. Is that what you think? Mm. What's up, honey? How you doing? What's going on here? And who's this guy? Um, he's um, um the son of uh, my father's act and it was some, <laughs> some like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So what can we do for you, child? No, 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 no. He's such a good boy. Can you imagine? Actually, walks out of him. Happy girl. Wait, wait. I was told you were out a while ago. Yeah, I was out on book. <laughs> You're right, man. Everyone needs a distraction once in a while. A distraction? Mm. Is that what you call it? <laughs> well, what can I say? No, Tony. It's something we have to do. <laughs> okay, okay. You win. Um, so when are you off to a project to see your family? Well, um, I'm actually yet to decide. You see, probably, um, you said the month was not. Yeah, very soon. Tell me, Tony. Does your wife complain about your absence? <laughs> not quite. At, at least she understands that I have to do my job. And. I try as much as possible to make up for the lost time whenever she's around. <laughs> but you're a very lucky man. You see, you have such an understanding wife. Oh, so I see. Sophie is complaining. Tony, I don't know what to do, and I don't want to lose her, man. Dialogue, my friend. Dialogue. I guess that's what I have to say. So kind of movement to your shoe for town. Get out of here. Now with it. Oh, you're not going to 
Of this. Huh? Why don't you go to the damn in your speaking room? I don't know why he's talking to me. Oh, so I'm talking to you, Madame Jokotade. And so why don't you go get married so I can frighten my nephew instead? Oh, oh. oh. Just oh. the next time you open your stupid mouth to voice out that rubbish, I slap this your stupid face. Give it to me. I'm waiting. This is it. What are you waiting for? What is the meaning of all this? Can't you children ever allow me a moment of peace in this house? No, 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 I was watching the TV here and she came in here and saying this. Why did she do that? Get out of here. Mom, can you imagine this silly thing? Tell me to want to get married. My God, Justin! You, you think the world about to you, right? Now let me tell you this. One of these days, I will disfigure that pretty face of yours and we'll see what else we have. Justin, I wouldn't have you to suspect your other sister. We shall see. Shut up and go to your room. Justin, it's okay. He's just a kid brother. Mom, talk to him. The very next time this repeats itself, I will forget what is between us and deal with him. It's okay. Calm down. <laughs> Them up, so I sent it to the laundry. You may have it. Oh, that boy is something else. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell me, apart from your branded jokes and everything, uh, how did you spend your day? Well, my day was fun. Yeah, I know. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You were having fun while I was working my ass off in the office. Right? Of course. Mm -hmm. With Fumi around, it was all fun. Uh, for me, you came around. Mm -hmm. oh. She spent about four hours. Four hours? <coughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> oh, he's like so like. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get me. <laughs> Good morning. The money? Oh, the money. I almost forgot. What? What? What do you need money for again? I just want to buy a few things for my mom. Why would you want to buy things for your mother? Because she's my mother. Must you be rude about it? Susan, Susan, please. Susan. <coughs> please, it's okay. Richard. Yes, Daddy. I'll give you the money later, okay? Please, excuse us. Okay. Listen, I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't just want to have to fall for any kind of man or all this man because of money. Why is she starting money from us all in the name of our mother? Could your mother take care of herself? She needs to be her, her grandmother. Susan! <laughs> oh, 
Kava Hadia. No, now this one sells for 80,000 naira. I said, but now you really need to see them because here they are the latest designs in market. These are beautiful. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. So have you tried them on? No. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be perfect fit. I think. Mm -hmm. Let me untie them. She's really excited. I bet she is. <laughs> You said you were going to hire. Have you been able to get that? Could have. We talked about this barely three years ago. Is three days ago not enough to make some progress? You know what? Let's just forget about this and meet our meal, okay? Can I ask you a question? Why not? Do you still love me? Better still. Do you have any regrets falling in love with me? What kind of a question is that, Ray? I need to know because you complain every time we are together. And that is because I am not happy. You have regrets then? Let's forget about it. No, Sophie. I demand you give me an answer. Even if I have any regrets, the bottom line still remains that I can never, ever love any man just like you. Very, very. You had something to tell me? Yes, Dad. I saw Nandi and Chief Martins Ibusa in what looks like a secret meeting at a restaurant today. What? And from what I could deduce, Dad, there was some conspiracy going on. Joko, are you sure about what you're telling me? Very sure, Dad. Very sure. It's a fact. Ah. 
هر یکی به فرم رو تیگه بیشه من این I wonder how long it's going to take him to get used to that. <sighs> so, um, how long have you known Rita? She's small. Hmm. That's long enough. Why don't you bring her home? She doesn't seem to understand. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for us. She's just a demon. I mean, if it doesn't work, that means I have to build another lady home, isn't it? Mm, Charles. I fell in love with you while I was 18 years old. And ever since, our love has grown stronger by each passing day. What I'm saying? What I am trying to say is that if you put your mind to it, it's going to work. Just follow your heart and listen to what I it says, okay? Don't worry. Bring her home, okay?
It has come to my knowledge that you now have met with the academy of this company. With all due respect, sir, what I do with my private life is entirely my business, sir. But, not when they are to the detriment of, uh, of my company. There are rules that govern this place, and you must, you, 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 you must comply with them. And when the rules are outrageous, sir, I will not stand in there to be common all of you. Just to warn you, the next time this repeats itself, you will be showing me way out of the problem, telling you or not. Now get out of my office. Get out. Now, this is to be your small as a good one, but your father may pay me salary, but it cannot be paid out of my life. Hello, you are talking to me? Oh, for hell is it you? Are you some sort of master in a goddess? I demand that you address me with respect, Mr. Nandi. Respect indeed. You have no idea how I want to hit your face. It's just one thing restraining me. <laughs> you just came out. <laughs> oh, and it's going to get worse if you don't stay off my back, Joko. I'm warning you. <laughs> Are you still thinking about what I told you yesterday? Yeah, um, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I'm not trying. How much time? Enough time for me to be sure of what I want to do. I mean, it's not like you're desperate to meet my parents, are you? Mm. Well, uh, actually, but, why are you so interested in meeting my parents anyway? I have no reason. You sure don't like the idea, do you? Well, it's not important of what I like. It doesn't make you happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marie, I hope everything is okay. Because the, the last time you were here, I can't even remember. <laughs> well, it's been quite a while. Uh, but I didn't come here because I was looking for something in your neighborhood. Mm. Huh. That's a pleasant surprise. Really, it is. Do I get you a drink? No, not quite. I'm fine. Thank you. Um, listen, baby. We need to talk about our future. And this isn't the right place. But it's important we do. Okay. I'm listening. Basically, I want to apologize for the way I've been treating you. And um, I feel this isn't what you desire. Oh, oh, no way. I've loved you since I was 18. How come it's now that you know what I desire? Within me, I feel I haven't made you happy. And I feel my job is getting between us. If this continues for much longer, I might have to draw a line. Meaning? I'll quit my job for you. Oh, no way. No. You can't do that. How can you even contemplate a thing like that? Your job is one thing that gives you so much it joy. It gives me so much joy, baby girl, but... Can't you see? You've always been there for me. Nothing compares to you. I guarantee you, from this moment, I'll always treat you like the queen you are. And nothing will come between us. Absolutely nothing. 
Come, let's go back to the office. 